What is Laue equation? In solid-state physics and crystallography, the Laue equations relate incoming waves to outgoing waves in the process of elastic scattering. They are named after physicist Max von Laue. According the Laue equation, n lambda equals to d cos theta minus d cos theta naught. Why is that so? Let's take a look at it from a one-dimensional crystal that has a row of atoms that can scatter X-rays. Are there any other angles other than being reflected at the same angle that the beam comes in that would lead to constructive interference? We have got some relationships here, so the direction of our incoming X-rays are represented by the vector R0. The angle in which R0 is making to our crystal, we are going to call it theta naught. And then we are going to say that the scattered radiation is described by the unit vector r and it makes an angle theta with the crystal and theta naught and theta are not necessarily equal. The question is, under what conditions does constructive interference occur? To know this, we have to calculate the path length differences by using trigonometry. The upper wave travels an extra distance of 4 to 1 compared to the lower wave before it's scattered. After scattering, the lower wave travels an extra distance of 2 to 3. The path length difference is simply the distance from 2 to 3 minus the distance from 4 to 1. For constructive interference to occur, we need this path length difference to be an integer multiple of the wavelength. Hence we can write down an expression. n is going to be an integer times the wavelength. And it is going to be equal to the vector 2 3 which is just d, the distance between the scatters which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle times the cosine of the angle theta which is the scattering angle. And the red vector is just going to be d, which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, times the cosine of theta naught. If we know theta naught, that is we can control the angle that the incoming rays make with the crystal, we could then solve the equation for the angle theta that could lead to constructive interference. First we isolate the cosine theta term on one side of the equation, and then if we take the arc cosine of the argument here, cosine of theta naught plus n lambda over d, that is known as the Laue equation, and we can use this equation to see the angles at which constructive interference might occur. Now, let's talk about the importance of Laue equation. First, it can be used to determine the crystal orientation from the position of the spots. Each chart can be indexed attributed to a particular plane using special chart. Secondly, it can also be used to assess the crystal perfection from the size and shape of the spots. If the crystal has been bent or twisted in any way, the spot become distorted and smeared out. Thirdly, it can also be used to indicate a point of the reciprocal lattice of the crystal under measurement. In conclusion, the Laue equation can be stated as n lambda equals to d cos theta minus d cos theta naught. 